What's up guys, welcome back to my fantasy series, this is going to be the recap for game week 3. As you can see, Sanchez was um, the best player of this week in terms of fantasy points, he got 16. These are the most transferred players in and out, as you can see, Maris topping off the out list. And Hazard coming in for uh, over 100,000 people as well as for Sterling. As you can see there's a couple new injured players and suspended players like Aguero who got a free match ban. Fellaini's got a back injury, Monreal still out, uh, I believe Michael was already out. But let's get into how I did this week. So I got 50 points, the average was 42 so I didn't do too badly but I wasn't really happy this week. I didn't think I did um, good enough so I decided to make some changes for next week as well as you can see Foster got 6 points with the clean sheet same thing for Williams uh, Bellerin conceded 1 so he didn't get anything special Dan scored, Williams scored and maybe got an assist no he just got a bonus Marcio didn't do well, Redmond didn't do well first scored, Hoiberg did normally Aguero didn't score either and Ibra didn't, um, De Gea had 6 points as well but he was on the bench, not too unhappy about that as Foster had the same exact number of points so I didn't make a bad decision. As you can see I went up in my leagues, I'm still first in this one, in this one I am third out of the 8, um, I'm kind of catching up on this guy, Butler's FC, Drew CBA, uh, you can follow him on Twitter, you can follow all these guys, they're pretty fun. Um, I don't know most of them to be honest, but hey, who gives a fuck? And in this one, I am ninth. So what I thought was actually a bad week turned out to be a pretty good week, as I am currently. Um, I went up in every single league, and even in these global leagues, I went up to 205,532nd worldwide. So I'm really, really happy about that because I'm aiming to get in the top 10%. And that's largely in the top 10%. I'll actually go quickly make the calculation right now. So guys, I made the quick um, calculation. I am actually in the top 5.5% right now, which is really, really good in my opinion. But let's hop into the transfers. What transfers did I make? I actually already made it. It, so I'm sorry about that um, because I was kind of excited and got ahead of myself, forgot about the video. But I decided to transfer in Macaulay instead of Walshide. I chose Walshite at the beginning of the year because he was really, really cheap and I just needed to fill my team out. But he only has um, one point total for the whole season so far. Um, whilst Macaulay right here, actually for the same price. Um, uh, so Walshite is still worth £4.5 in this game whilst uh, Macaulay is worth 4.6 but I had um, £0.4 in the bank. So that's um, why I managed to get him, but he has a total of 20 points instead of 1. So I'm going to take him, especially uh, Walshide is injured or suspended, I don't really know. And Sanya is injured as well, so I wanted a 4th defender. So this is how I'm going to be lining up for game week 4. I've got Macaulay, Dan, um, two uh, good defenders that can score quite a bit, I believe. I believe that Macaulay scored once yet in those three games. Um, Dan's already scored, um, Williams could score, and Bellerin was really, really good last year on this game. Then I decided to go with um, Foster at goalkeeper instead of De Gea, because De Gea... I can see uh, Man City scoring against us, so that's why I'm going to be putting Foster. I can see him getting a clean sheet against Bournemouth. Then William did really, really well last week, um, and he'll be back in the starting 11, so that's good. Martial, I'm hoping that he uh, doesn't disappoint me. He hasn't been too good this year, eh, but I think he needs to get his confidence back up. Uh, Redmond, I'm not doing too well. Um, I'm thinking of actually selling him, but um, maybe next week or something like that. Then we have Far still, up. Is, has he scored two now? I think that's what he scored, I keep pressing underneath. Yeah, he scored two in three games which is really, really good for a midfielder, especially when you play for Swansea. So I'm putting him in there because he has more chance of scoring points instead of Hoiberg to be honest. Then I have uh, Ibrahimovic and um, Aguero, but Aguero's just been um, banned for three games so I think I'm going to have to do this. Which is not too bad either, but I'm 
don't believe this will be... Well, actually, I think this is actually going to be a high-scoring week defensively. Because Foster, all, actually all my defenders, I can see them getting a clean sheet. So that would be really good. Then um, Ibra, I can see him scoring in the derby. Ibra's just that type of guy who would score in the derby. So that's going to be it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below so I can make these videos better for you guys. Subscribe for Game Week 4 recap coming um, somewhere in September 15th, I believe. This was Boy Zach. I'll see you next time. Peace.